Hi guys, Kai here and welcome back to episode 34 of the FIFA 19 My Player Career with Wolverhampton Wanderers. And I've had a few more comments in the section below asking me to leave Wolverhampton Wanderers. So if you are actually watching the episode, you will know that we're staying here until the end of the season. We want to finish this season, the third season, with Wolves to complete the Champions League um, campaign, see how far we get there and then of course try and retain the Premier League title and then guys we can hand in a transfer request towards the end of the season and see what kind of offers come in for the services of Kai and then we'll be looking for that move away so don't worry just yet guys this is the third and final season here at Wolves um, so we'll see how we get on here and then we'll see um, who comes in for us in the summer I am also in the middle of recording a brand new My Player series um, it's not your usual my player, uh, so it is going to be a little bit different. Um, it's going to take a little while to um, record and get edited up, but I will try and um, do it, if not this weekend, then next weekend. And then we're going to make it every two weeks a brand new episode, because um, I think it will be fairly big. But it is an interesting one, it's exciting to do, and um, I hope you guys enjoy it. I won't give you too many, um, well, too much info on it just yet, but there you go, I've, I've mentioned it. And you can look forward to it when it does go live in maybe a few days or maybe um, next weekend, like I said. So wait for that. Hopefully um, we can get it up this weekend, but I don't think we will. But um, next weekend definitely it will be up and then obviously we can concentrate on that. And then concentrate on this one with Wolverhampton Wanderers. Um, we're hoping to go as far as possible in the Champions League and in the league. I, I think we're still in the FA Cup and the Carabao Cup as well. Um, so in all the competitions so far. And we want to improve the squad as well in the January transfer window. I don't think that's been done as of yet. Um, I, I have no idea if there's going to be any um, targets or any plans to bring anybody in. I'm just none the wiser here at Wolverhampton Wanderers. But that is the beauty of being just a player and not the manager. It's something that we don't really have to worry about. Although it would be nice to be able to request that they... Um, change the formation just so they can play in more of a an advanced role than we are right now because we do struggle to go forward and when, when we do go forward and the attack doesn't work out then we're leaving a gap at the back so that is a bit of a shame it, it, it stops us from progressing forward and being as creative as we would like you know, but as you can see there we have finally broken the deadlock in the first game in today's episode it is a 1-0 scoreline and it is once again Diego Jota with the opening goal of the game. Only took 84 minutes to come. Uh, but we'll take it. A late goal. Three points in the back here for Wolverhampton Wanderers. I can't see Crystal Palace getting a goal in the final six or five minutes. Or however many um, we've got to play. There will be added time as well of course. Uh, but it has been a rainy day. And a nice little finish there. For a second I did think it went wide as he originally taught that. But Diego uh, Diogo Jota. He gets his, was that his third Premier League goal of the season? I think it may have been. And we're into the final minutes and how many minutes of added time? We've got two minutes of added time remaining. Just waiting for that final whistle to blow and we will have another three points in the bag and staying towards the top of the Premier League table. This is where we need to be at the end of the season. There blows the final whistle then. One goal to nil for Wolves and now I think we can concentrate on some Champions League action. As you can see there, the new Champions League background and we take on Real Madrid. So this is going to be a tough one. Of course Real Madrid got a big, big team and they've got some new players. Look at that, Aguero's there. I'm not entirely sure who else plays for Real Madrid right now. Uh, you have to keep an eye on the players' names in the bottom corner. Uh, we did see Aguero though, so we know that he's there. Uh, let's see though if we can go against the odds and try and get ourselves the victory. It is going to be a tough one, of course. Uh, Rudiger's there. Uh, Aguero. Isco still, of course. Who's on this left side? Asensio. Uh, Luke Shaw, wow, Luke Shaw is at Real Madrid, that was a bit of a surprise, but that one just offside, um, Asensio just offside there for Real, so still 0-0, 24 minutes into this game, um, here's Adama, plays it inside there for Kai, Kai's on a 6.4 rating now after making that pass there, and Trigueros lays it off there for Jota, who smashes it into the top corner, and what a finish that is, and one goal to nil, 25 minutes played, uh, things are going well so far here at Molyneux. I don't think Molyneux has ever had Champions League football at their stadium before, uh, especially against Real Madrid. But look at this. One goal to nil on the edge of the area. And we are in front, guys. 
Can we hold on at the least to get the victory? It'll be a huge victory if we can. Now, time's running out then for Real Madrid. We do jump into the second half. A couple of changes as well there for Real. Uh, but here is Kai laying it off to Trigueros. Gets it back from Trigueros. Gives it back to him. Adama hits it. Goalkeeper Courtois makes a save. And all Real Madrid going to go on the counter-attack. Kaiser's holding back there, waiting for the ball. He gets the interception. And now the attack is on once again here for Wolves. Lays it off to Jota. Jota is going to hit it. He lays it off to Trigueros, whose shot was blocked there by Courtois. And Adama looking to get the crossing. But again, that was blocked by the Real Madrid defence. And does go out to play for a Wolves corner. So, one hour played here at Molyneux. Still leading by one goal to nil. Here is Dolberg. Trying to cut inside and still keeps the possession. Kai's in space. Asrit gets it. Hits it just outside the area. Oh, it's beaten the goalkeeper. But it didn't beat the woodwork, unfortunately. And what a goal that would have been. It was a great effort there from Kai. Uh, 25 minutes remaining. Wall still holding on. And not just holding on. But we've had the most of the game. I have to say, it's been constant attack here for Wolverhampton Wanderers. Why can't we play more like this in the Premier League? Here is Kai just on the edge of the area. Lays it inside for Dolberg. And Kai picks up the assist as Dolberg smashes it into the top corner. Just over 20 minutes to play. And it is now Wolverhampton Wanderers 2, Real Madrid 0. I'll say that again because it's quite stunning. Wolves 2, Real Madrid 0. Absolutely insane scenes here at Molyneux. And look at this nice little pass there from Kai. Good touch there from Kasper Dolberg. And an even better finish. He gives us a two-goal lead. And his first goal in the Champions League this season. So onwards we go then. And into the final minute of the match. And I can't believe that we're going to be pulling off a famous victory here. Everybody thought that Real Madrid would go out and get the victory. Uh, but we've proved them wrong. We've got the win. We've got an important three points as well. A step closer to qualifying for the knockout stages as well, of course. Of the Champions League group stage. Uh, fingers crossed we can go. I think we're playing Real Madrid next as well. In the next game away from home. So travelling to Spain for that one. But there is the final whistle there. The huge victory here for Wolves. Two goals to nil. And keeping that clean sheet is important as well. But onwards we go then. Um, probably be a little bit fatigued going into this one. But again we should be the favourites. We are the reigning Premier League champions. Not sure where Brighton and Hove Albion currently sit in the Premier League table. Uh, but any team can go out and beat any other team in the league on any given day. So, fingers crossed that does not happen. Let's try and get ourselves off to a good start. You can see that it's, it is raining. There's quite a lot of water on the pitch right now. Um, but hopefully that will just add to a nice flowing gameplay. And here is Kylan Four Wolves. Lays it inside there. Waiting for the run. Here's Adama. Adama lays it off. Waits for the cross to come in. Cross comes in far post. A bit too much on it. Actually got that on target. And cleared behind for an early corner here for Wolves. Uh, Shunt's really been able to get on the end of that. But he did. He did well. Unfortunately, couldn't get it into the back net. Here is Adama though. Oh, that's a nice ball to Jota. And Jota's shot was blocked by the Brighton defence. And again, another chance goes begging there for Wolverhampton Wanderers. If he went to the far post, he would have had a better chance of that going past them all and into the back of the net. But it wasn't to be. It is the second corner of the game. Aaron Gies towards Kai. Kai couldn't get there. And Brighton do get this ball forward. So 25 minutes gone here at Molyneux. After a famous night or a famous victory in midweek against Real Madrid. We are struggling to get the ball in the back of the net today. We've had the better chances so far. Uh, but that could all change here. Brighton have themselves a corner. Corner gets swung in near post. It misses everybody. Somehow gets over the everybody as well how did that one go up in the air it went over everybody all the defenders and there was the Brighton player to tap it into an easy goal actually it was an empty goal so easy finish there for him and not sure who it was it's that guy there Balagun he gets his first Premier League goal of the season and things not looking good here for Wolves we need to try and get ourselves back in onto level terms hopefully we can do that before the first half ends uh, but as you can see, it's Brighton and Hove Albion pushing forward. That's a fantastic ball. He's one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Takes the shot. Goalkeeper's come out for some reason and doesn't even go to claim the ball. And Brighton and Hove Albion lead two goals to nil. And we've still got four minutes to play in this first period. What a half this has been for Brighton. Against the runner play, you have to say, Brighton um, have took the chance as well when they've been given them. And look at that. That's a great ball, that is. Uh, but what's the goalkeeper doing? He came charging out. 
And he just kept running. Even when the ball was going over his head, he kept running forward. And easy finish there then for March. He gets his third Premier League goal of the season. And so into the second half we go then, trailing by two goals to nil. We beat Real Madrid in, in midweek, two goals to nil. And now we're losing against Brighton. Things just don't seem to um, work out for us right now, do they? But here's a chance to pull one back. And we've done that. And it is Adama who gets another goal on the score sheet there for himself and for Wolverhampton Wanderers. Two goals to one. And just over half an hour to play then. We should surely get ourselves back onto level turns pretty soonish. Uh, but nice ball there. Nice finish as well from Adama. Not sure how many he's got for this season now. Hopefully we'll see after this replay. Uh, but Kai did well. Played it across the middle. And boom. Nice finish near post. Goalkeeper probably should have had that. Uh, but we'll take it. Adama scoring. Wow, it's only his first Premier League goal of the season. I thought Adama actually had more. But... First Premier League goal of the season. Hopefully the first of many to come this year. We're going to need his goals as we do pro progress through um, the entire season, of course. And here is Kai. Good ball there. He receives it. Lays it off to his teammate Trigueros. A bit of space open up on his far side. And for some reason, I don't know why Trigueros played that back to Kai. A chance here for Brighton to score. And they've done it. A bit of a mistake there between Tr Trigueros and Kai. Trigueros didn't have to give that ball back to Kai. I don't think Kai asked for it. He played the quick one too. And Kai, just because he was sprinting forward, he couldn't really turn anywhere. Ran into some trouble. And Brighton, they stole the ball off and played it forward to March. And he scores another goal then. Second goal of the game then for March. And it looks like with a minute to play that Brighton are going to be taking the three points home with them. Unless we can um, do a little bit of magic here. But it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Unless we can steal it here, then go on for a kickoff goal. No, this is going to be defeat here for Wolverhampton Wanderers. That one's going to bounce out to play, though. Uh, but what a performance from Brighton. Uh, we've had most of the game, but Brighton, as I said, took the chances. Some mistakes from Wolves. And there we go, then. Brighton take the three points. They've got the victory. Poor day for Wolves. But as I said before the game kicked off, uh, we were feeling a little bit fatigued after that fantastic performance in midweek in the Champions League against Real Madrid. Uh, I think that just took it out of our players. So we can't really blame him for that. Hopefully we can bounce back right now. This is in the Carabao Cup. I think it is the fourth round. Uh, I could be wrong. We'll have a look once this game is over, of course, whether we go through or get knocked out. We will have a look at the rest of the results in this round. And then that will confirm exactly which round we are in. But like I said, I think it is the fourth round. And let's see how it's going to be a tough one. Let's see how we get on with this one. And we are away from home, as you see. We are at Anfield. Anfield, always a tough place to play. And Liverpool getting that ball cleared. But they do lose possession. Approaching a 20-minute mark then. Still goalless. Liverpool nil. Wolverhampton Wanderers nil. Kai currently sitting himself on a 6.5 rating. Plays that one in for Adama. Adama hits it as a cracking shot. Good effort. We're going for that near post top corner. But the goalkeeper was there to make a good vital save there. And out of play it goes for a corner. And that one... Doesn't even come in play, so it goes out of play for a goal kick. So Virgin van Dijk, as you can see there, he looks like he's going to Atletico Madrid when the window opens. Uh, interesting move there for him. And I'm hoping that Wolves do go out and buy a player or two. Remember, this is our final season here at Wolves. And that one, poor shot there, should have cut back. Yeah, but onwards we go. Uh, a couple of accomplishments as well on lot there for Kai as his stats ever increase. We're pushing, I think if we're not already, it could be 88 rated. Um, I'll have to look at that, but I think we're at 87, 88 rated now. Um, so very, very close to hitting 90 overall rating. And remember, we have not been doing training. The only training we've actually been doing is penalties and set pieces for the free kicks. And speaking of penalties, this game has gone to 19 minutes. All level, so no extra time in the Carabao Cup, remember it. So it does go straight to a penalty shootout. Liverpool, they put their first one away, and so have we. 1-1 one, one it is. And hopefully Kai doesn't get the the deciding penalty. We want this done and dusted beforehand. Liverpool up for their second, and the goalkeeper just stands there. So Fabino puts his away nicely. Liverpool leading in this shootout. Two goals to one, which I believe is the fourth round of the Carabao Cup. And great penalty there, 2-2, two, two. nobody's missed yet. I don't even think a goalkeeper's even moved. Uh, but Liverpool up for their third. And the goalkeeper finally moves, and a penalty has been missed. And it is a chance here for Wolverhampton Wanderers to go in front for the first time today. 3-2, can they do it? They can't, the goalkeeper makes a vital save. He keeps things level. 2-2 two, two after three penalties apiece. Mo Salah then 
for Liverpool. Can he make it 3-2? He does. Sends the goalkeeper the wrong way. Unlucky Ru Patricio. And now a chance for Wolves to tie things up. He does. Ooh, I thought the goalkeeper was going to go the right way there, but he just stuck out of foot. Didn't really go for it. And so we'll take it. A chance here for Liverpool to go in front again. Straight down the middle. Four goals to three. We need to score. Miss this. Oh, it's Kai as well. The deciding penalty, which we did not want. And we're going to do a usual trick. Aim right. And then at the last minute, go left. And it always works against AI computer. I do not know why. But it works. Here's a chance then. Save this. And a chance to score the next to go through. It's Kaita. To make it 5-4 to Liverpool. Oh, is it the woodwork? I thought he did the goalkeeper. As the goalkeeper dived the wrong way. But a chance here. For Mendy, the left back, signed from Manchester City. Can he give us the win to get us through to the next round of the Carabao Cup? He can. Get in, Mendy. Fantastic play. Always tense the penalty shootouts, but we'll take it. Five goals to four on a penalty shootout at Anfield, taking on Liverpool. We do progress through, so let's have a look then. It was around uh, round four. And so, as you can see, we go through. Leicester City are also free, through. Sorry, Manchester United through. And Derby counted. They got knocked out on penalties against Crawley Town.